Hello everyone. In previous tutorial, we explored how to develop an SAP Fury Elements based application. Today we are switching gears to show you how to develop a UI5 based applications. We'll compare those two approaches and help you understand which one might be the right fit for your project. Let's start. Now let's see what I have developed in the previous applications. So basically you have seen that there are two projects. One is the RIGS and another is the mitigations. So the RIGS projects is based on the Fury app based applications and mitigation that is the UI5 based. So if I go there, you can see that that is the developed based on the a uh, few are elements. If you click here, you can see everything. But now we will show you how to develop the UI5 app. So at the end of the tutorial, you can see that projects. If you click on there, you can see in details. But before that, you have to understand what is the main difference between the UI5 and the Fury elements based app okay so first of all if i talk about the sap fury elements app so the the first thing that is that it's centralized development in fury elements most of your codes resides outside of your project in central components that means that you really heavily on metadata from your udata service to drive the process logic so that means that if you develop a Fury elements based app, then you have to heavily rely on your metadata. That is the metadata. And uh, second approach is the standard use case. So Fury elements provide a standard use case. So basically that is the Fury elements. So you can understand the uh, that means that uh, there are already defined some pre-built list and those type of uh, components and uh, you can use that and it is also a flexible po programming model I mean that um, there are lots of is if you want you can adjust everything is already predefined uh, but today uh, let's explore the freestyle UI5 applications what we'll developed today so Basically that is the UI5 it's developed based on the UI5 uh, programming models and in a freestyle app all your views and controllers are within your projects. I mean that's here that is the main difference that that is the mitigations projects and you can see that if you go to the app folder, you can find that, uh, so that is the RIGS. And if you go to the applications, you can see that is the view and that is the controllers. So from view, you can create the XML or related view table and everything. I will show you in this tutorial and you will have that controller so that you can add the logic here. And you can customize, you can customize based on your requirements. And you can in in future, if you want to change something, you can just add. Or if you need to add new controller, you can just add view. So uh, let's start how to create the UI five based applications. So now you can see that uh, there is only one uh, application here uh, that is RISC and it is the SAP Fury elements based applications what I developed in the previous video. So now what I uh, need to do, we will create a UI5 based applications. So now there is the process is same. So if I go to view commands and open application generator so from here actually uh, there is a difference because last times it is it was the fury elements base 
but we have to select these templates and we have to select SAP Fiori work list applications select this click next okay so uh, now I have to select what's in the previous video actually I already described so it should be local cap projects and it should be okay and udata it should be so uh, if you um if you just follow the previous video you can see that everything was developed and that udata service and that projects so you can uh, um, get details just click next and now we have to select the so now we will um you can see that there is a uh, basically two entity on is uh, risks and mitigations so risks already created for the elements and now i will follow the mitigations so now here um, we will select the id and that is also the id just for a basic skeleton for the projects later we will update should be none it should be none okay so now we have to select the module name it should be like mitigations title of the applications mitigations um applications namespace i'm following as per the sap tutorial so it just announce should you know and finish and now it's loading and now it will generate and it will create a project so actually it's installing dependencies in the last previous video i already uh, talked about what is the dependencies actually for each and every projects is need some package so it just install what is required so now this um, fury uh, application is ready and uh, i already started the cds watch command so that is the reason you don't need to manually start and stop it automatically it will restart the servers and you can see the results so you can see the uh, mitigations or page is there i mean that application is there so if you just click on that you can see the id basically that is not that good but we just get a skeleton of the project and if i go to that um apps we can see that there are uh, two apps one is rigs and another what just recently created that applications so now click here web app and you can see the view and controller so all logic you have to add in this controller and all design that is the xml based design so you have to update change everything in the view based on the xml but if you go to that if you go to the tricks which is the fury element based applications you will not find any view on controller so that is the reason that is called that odata metadata based so you have to rely on that but in the uh, ui 5 apps you will find the view and controllers and you can design everything based on your requirement so now what we have to do uh, as i told you that everything is depends your design based on that view so now what you need to do like if i go to that view folder and you can see the like 
there is the name relations between view and controllers and controller that is for that you're adding your logic for example like that is the view list if you if you check the naming convention that work list view.xml and each and every view at the end that is dot view and controller is start with the same like it is also controller.js um, and also controller.js so worklist.view.xml and for this worklist view is the what is the controller controller is the worklist so basically if you want to change any logic you can add logic on that work list controller so that is the relation and that is the way how to find the controller okay go back to that view so now you can see that that is the title and that is the if i go to the work list so basically that is the table table header so now and that is the column so now you can see that there in that column if I just so here name of the column column ID okay so now what um, we can do we will create um, basically this column is that this column so like for example I remove everything okay so at the back ends I already started the CDS watch so immediately it will you can see the result so basically it's really good um, command to explore your developments and immediately you can find where you did mistakes so I am starting with column column and it should be ID so description column so I have created only on columns and in that column I should have um, like test and test description then ID so you can see that when I uh, create a columns or automatically edit here so basically there are only one column but um, based on that uh, entity I have to create three columns so now I'm just copy this one so now it's getting error but it should be just owner owner columns each description text should be owner and it should be owner owner column titan and the third one is the timelines so time line column so this is timeline 
description it's the timeline it should be title so now uh, I have just created three columns you can see that three columns is already added so now I have to change the item because you can see the it's only on column and it's the ID it's not good so if I go to the item so basically we have to change everything on the inside the sale so now everything gone because there are no sales so what I have to do objects um, it should be uh, objects identifiers then text okay so like if I like it should like just for the understanding what it will happen so see actually it's now showing the description right so now if I just use this sign now see what happened so now actually it will come from the table data so same I objects uh, now I have to just get some text inside that text text and text it should be owner but in the database it is all small and just save and it should be timeline sorry timeline you can see that um, actually I am uh, using those type of things uh, just for the understanding now if we just put that sign it will collect data from the database see what a beautiful app is designed using the UI5 so now um, but if you click here still it is not changing we have to we have to fix this so actually this page is not it's the separate page separate view so this view is that is called object view so if we want to change here then we have to change um, the object view page but if you want to change any logic then you have to change here so I'm not uh, doing that I'm just showing you the difference and so now if I go back to the object view so now actually here you can see the title heading so in that title it's actually it is it is coming ID so here we'll just change the description so it will it will show the descriptions it will show the descriptions 
okay so now we have to change the um, we have to add currently actually there is nothing in that so we have to add uh, something so where we can add we have to add because that is the uh, another so like that is the that is the end of the view and that is the symmetric view so we have to add after that email so here we are adding this another semantics um, uh, semantic 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 content actually it's it's not actually it should be it should be sorry but that semantic then content so now we have to that is all about that SAP UI 5 related so you have to see that UI 5 related app so um, UI uh, uh, sorry UI uh, 5 related uh, video so that you can it will be more clear so now what I have to is the vertical layout so I am L layout vertical layout so um, vertical uh, layouts is not Wound here so actually what I have to do I have to import that layout so here I am like okay so if I select this it's L now if I add SCP dot UI dot layout so basically actually now you can uh, that is the prerequisite I mean that you have to add this and if you now under that objects um object status object status and title description let's wait and see see description is appear here so now same way copy paste and now make it owner that is timeline so now this is blank but we have to make a text what should be text like text description this is description and here text is owner Text is a uh, timeline. 
Oh, now this control is working fine. So now, if we want to collect data from table, we need to just put Okay, so now you can see that um, everything is showing here. It's the, uh, just a, uh, that is uh, basically the UI5. And actually that, that's it. And uh, today our main objective was uh, how to uh, create a UI5 based applications. And as I created the fewer elements and what is the difference between that. So uh, that's it. I think you understand what uh, because most of the things is very uh, difficult for the beginner level that uh, what is the difference actually why I have to create uh, when we have to create as a fewer based and fewer elements based and when we have to create uh, UI uh, 5 based uh, freestyle based actually both are based on the ui5 but there are some uh, differences i think you understand from this video and in the next video i will um, actually i am uh, work through that uh, tutorial as mentioned in the sap tutorial so in the next uh, tutorial i will show you how to use a local uh, launchpad um, okay thank you bye